So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. And now once you're on here, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first we're gonna expand HQ local machine and then we're gonna expand system and then we're gonna expand current control set and then we're gonna expand control and then you wanna scroll down and then click on graphics drivers. Here it is, you wanna click on graphics drivers and now all this on the right side will appear. And now once you're in here, you're gonna look for something that says TDR level. If you do not have TDR level like me, I do not have it, that's fine, we're just gonna create it. So if you do not have TDR level, you wanna right click on any blank space and then click on new and then click on DWORD for to bit value. And now we're gonna name this as TDR level and click on enter. By the way, make sure that you spot TDR level with the exact same capitals and lowercase like I did. And now once you have TDR level, you wanna double click on it and you wanna change the value data to zero. So make sure that the value data is on zero and then click on okay. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager, click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna expand display adapters and then you wanna find your graphics card. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search twenty for drivers. Make sure you have the best drivers for your device installed. Also, I'm gonna leave three links down below for Nvidia, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card and then you wanna update your drivers through that software. And now once you complete all these steps, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.